Hey team! So, just doing a quick review over the things we talked about today in class. So, first off, no hammer grips. We want to make sure we're having a nice loose grip using the thumb and our index finger as our main manipulators, with the other hand just kind of being a guy. Now, starting us off, that forward rotation on our dominant side. So, taking our tip and just letting it rotate forward, opening up the hand, so we're kind of gripping it with just the uh, thumb and index finger. Hand is open into the supination position. From here, letting that momentum continuing on, we rotate the wrist, close the hand, and we're back into uh, our starting position. That again, so, boop. So open, close, open, close. And we did this also on the left side, same thing. Letting it travel forward, opening our hands, closing our hand up, bringing it back to that first position. Not only that, we did it in reverse. So for that one, taking our tip, letting it drop behind ourselves, rotating backwards, opening up that hand again, and then closing. And again, all of these are a lot easier when you do them with uh, momentum because you can let the weight of the weapon do all the work for it. Continuing on, uh, the next thing that we did was doing our figure eights. So starting again from that tip, we're going to take our tip, taking it across our body to our opposite hip, dropping it nice and low, bringing our hand across, almost into that parry one of position, flicking our hand up, so now we're in a parry of four, then we're gonna open our hand up, dropping our hand across to a parry of eight position, before we close our hand, just like we were doing on those rotations before, back into our original starting position of parry of three. So, doing that with some uh, fluidity, we have We also did this in reverse. So from the tip, we're going to go back, coming into that pair of eight. And what some of you are finding uh, a more visually easily thing to think about, diagonal cuts. And then we drop on the other side, diagonal. So we're almost doing rising diagonal cuts uh, as we're doing these uh, backwards figure eights. Final one that we did today was uh, the snake flare. So from here, we started it with on, starting our swords on our back. We twist our hips, bringing our sword around, leading with the pommel, bringing it up. And then we're just continuing on with our backwards figure eight. So letting it drop down to behind us, bringing it around, turning our hips. At the same time, we're rotating our wrists over. So our, the back of our hand is facing down the floor bringing our hand up, and then using our hips to untwist ourselves and bringing us back around. Backwards hip, rotate, flick off. Now, what we also were saying is that you can add some of these think, uh, flares that we were doing earlier into this one mega one. So we can also do some forward rotations into some figure eights into our snakes and you'll notice that when i'm going into my snake i'm actually doing one extra rotation before going into it you don't have to it's just adding that extra bit of weight.